Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm in a studio with the all new for 2024 Skoda Kodiak. Here are five, six or seven, I can't really remember how many I've written down, things you need to know about it. First up, we have to talk about the look. Skoda's kept the split headlight design from the previous generation Kodiak, but they've slimmed them down and given it a new daytime running light signature. And some models, the higher spec ones, get this rather tasteful illuminated strip across the grille. Actually, we should talk about the grille. It's bigger, it's wider, it's more imposing than before. And I think it looks a little bit more German, dare I say it. Next up, we have to talk about length. The Kodiak's always been Skoda's flagship SUV, but it's got six centimeters longer, which gives you a bit more rear seat space and just makes it look a little bit more serious. Around the back, we've got these two-tone C pillars and these rather sharp and tasty rear lights with a light bar that runs across the width of the car. Nice. Now, because the Kodiak is bigger than before, the boot has got bigger. It's just over 900 litres now in five-seat models, about 865 litres if you go for the seven-seat option. The Kodiak's one of the first Skodas to use Skoda's latest font with the little hat missing from the S. So all the people that normally tell me off in YouTube comments for not saying Skoda, well, I've got an excuse now, no little hat. Skoda's completely redesigned the dashboard of the new Kodiak. It's much more high tech with the digital dashboard as standard, this large 13 inch entertainment screen, and lots of recycled materials. The brown pigment in this leather comes from coffee beans. If you're fed up with using touchscreens to change the temperature, you can rejoice in the fact that Skoda has kept proper dials, but they're very clever. You can actually adjust what the dials do to change your driving modes, your fan speeds, to sync up the temperatures, and plenty more. To help give you a little bit more interior space, Skoda has moved the gear selector up here to the steering column, leaving you a bit more space down here for cup holders and things like that. It also means there are going to be no manual Kodiaks. Now, it's a small thing and one that unhelpfully I can't show you on camera, but the Kodiak is now available with a head-up display for the first time, so you can see your speed when you're driving along without having to look down here. Now, another small but nerdy thing I've noticed is that the air vents are really quite satisfying to use. They're like little silver joysticks. I don't know, something just quite nice about it. Now this particular Kodiak is a petrol. There are going to be two petrols, a 1.5 and a 2 litre with 204 horsepower. There are going to be two diesels as well with 150 or 193 horsepower. It's going to be four wheel drive versions and for the first time there's going to be a plug-in hybrid that could do 60 miles on electric power alone and fast charge on a 50 kilowatt DC charger, which is quite big news. Backseat space was always a strong point in the Kodiak, but we've got more knee room and foot room than ever before. And the seats are actually more reclined than before. You could properly fall asleep back here. And I can also put my window blinds up in this top spec version. So there you have it, a very quick fire walk around of the all new for 2024 Skoda Kodiak. What do you think of it? Do you like the looks? Do you like the color? Tell us down in the comments and uh, like this video if it's been helpful. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.